Hello and welcome to another exciting time with me, Uncle North, the bearer of good news. Now I have come with another good news coming all the way from Canada. Now this province in Canada is trying to take a very bold step. Now it is no longer news that if you are an international worker or international professional and you move to another country, you'll be start your your employment starts from the, the foundation, let's say level one, then you work your way upward. It doesn't matter how many years of experience you've gotten, this is how international workers have been have been treated in most countries in the West. Let me use for instance, you're going to the UK as a nurse. When you get there, they start you from band four. When you pass your OSCE, you get your pins above from band five. They don't even care how many years of experience you have in your country. All they know is that you are a new qualified nurse in the UK. Now, this province in Canada is saying no. We want to bring in global talent. We are going to make sure that whether they have Canada experience or not, we are going to pay them what they deserve, what they want, as long as they are qualified for that position. Now, over the years, this has been a debate, but nobody has been bold enough to come and make this decision. That is why I'm bringing you this good news as a bearer of good news. This province called Ontario, which is one of the largest provinces in Canada, is taking this bold step. As from 2024, they are making plans to ensure that if you come into this province as an international worker, you will be started on your particular or your supposed level. And you will be paid based on your experience, based on your qualifications, no need for you to start as a foundational staff or as a from the ground level. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Like I said, I'm the bearer of good news. If you're seeing me for the first time, I bring information that regards to traveling, studying abroad, just migration, anything about that. If you love content like that, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and also click on the post notification button so you can be getting updates whenever I post something new. You can also do me a favor by clicking on the like button because it helps youtube recommend a video to other person so please like this video and also share with your friends and your loved ones to my existing subscribers i want to say a very big thank you for helping us grow this page because without you i will not be here you have helped, helped us grow to the, to the to this extent so please help you know keep helping us to click on the like button and also share our videos to your friends and your loved ones now let me go to the, my system so i can be reading out this all important information which is also exciting because um, most of us have experienced despite your 20 years experience you're going to start from the scratch but now this this um province is saying no work experience no problem come to us we are ready to receive you and i'm going to be showing you uh, i'm going to be posting on the on the link on the description of this video some of the job sites where you can get job opportunities in this province so that you can apply to those to jobs in those provinces in this province and see how your luck or your god is going to favor you at the end of the day let's go to the system all right so you're welcome back let's start reading from um this new piece that's coming all the way from ontario so in the grand breaking in the grand breaking move ontario canada's most populous province has set the stage um, they want to make a very major shift in the employment landscape. The provincial government has announced its intention to introduce new legislat legislation that, if passed, will ban employers from requiring Canadian work experience in job posting or applications form. This move is first a first among Canada provinces and territories, aims to break down barriers for newcomers and create more inclusive markets opportunities all right so ontario minister of labor immigration training and skill development believes that this legislation will play a pivotal role in addressing in-demand labor shortage across the province the proposed ban on canada work experience require requirement is a strategic move to encourage newcomers to pursue careers that aligns with their qualifications rather than settling for positions they may be qualified for. According to Canada Labour Minister David Prince Princini, according to Ontario Labour Minister David Princini, the proposed legislation is a step towards ensuring that international trained 
immigrant can secure well-paying, rewarding careers. Prince Henry stated that for long, for too long, too many people arriving in Canada have been funneled towards dead-end jobs that they are overqualified for. The aim is clear: by removing barriers, Ontario hopes to facilitate the integration of qualification, qualified candidates into meaningful roles, contributing to both personal success and addressing the province labor shortage. So once you are coming, you are going directly to the role that suits you instead of going for a role that doesn't suit you because you don't have Canada experience, because you are not trained in Canada or something like that. You go to roles that suit you directly. And this province of Ontario, they said by removing this barrier, they make sure that qualified candidates go directly into meaningful roles contributing to your personal success and addressing the labor shortage in this province. So, they're not just looking for themselves, they're also looking out for you by making you get this position that you deserve. Not just taking you to start from a position that you don't deserve, then you walk your way up to where they want you to walk your way up. Alright, so, the ripple effect on, on Ontario's community and economy. Ontario's Minister of Citizenship and Multiculturalism, Michael Ford, emphasizes that this change is not just about blustering workforce, it's about supporting families, building vibrant communities, and ensuring businesses have the talent they need. The potential impact of these legislative changes is significant, not only for indiv individual job seekers, but for overall growth and prosperity of Ontario. So you know that Canada are making so many changes, like no country makes drastic changes in their um, immigration they have a very robust immigration and all these changes bringing international students bringing in workers they are all just to make sure for the overall growth and prosperity economic growth of the province and the country all right so they also have plans for international students come 2024 if this proposal makes it way. all right immigration is recognized as a cornerstone of growth for ontario the recently announced legislation aligned with the province's broader effort to welcome and integrate newcomers effectively. In 2023, Ontario plans to nominate 16,500 immigrants for permanent residence through the Ontario Immigration Nominee Program, specifically targeting critical sectors such as healthcare and skilled trades. Now, don't forget about Brandon. I made a video about Brandon. That's, that's a community that is looking for permanent residents. So, they will nominate you and bring you and make sure you come into Canada as permanent resident. If you've not seen that video, go and see that video. See how rural communities in Canada are nominating people. This is one of the ways. Brandon is one community in Ontario that can also... Oh, Brandon is in Manitoba, sorry. Brandon is one community that can nominate you and also bring you to Canada. All right, so like I said, they have, also, they have something also for um, international students. Please, um, if you have watched me up to this extent, please, I will employ you to please like this video and also share with your friends and your loved ones. Alright, so, by revising eligibility requirement for one-year graduate certificate program, Ontario aims to increase the number of international students eligible to apply for Ontario International um, Immigration Nomination Program. So, they also want to make sure that international students, when you come and study in Ontario, you will be nominated um for permanent residents that based on their provincial nomination program you can be nominated for provincial nomination and become a permanent resident in Ontario. only canada is give, can give you this opportunity only canada has this plan for international students so i don't know why you want to waste your money go go to countries where you don't have opportunity to become permanent residents or you have to wait longer before you become permanent resident all right so just by one year college graduate certificate program just one year program in, in ontario you are you have the eligibility whether it's diploma whether it is master whether it is just one year certificate program you have the opportunity to become a permanent resident in canada this is what they are proposing think about going to canada by 2024 all right so ontario is selectively seeking more influence in selecting economic migrant immigrants the province has already secured a higher allocation for provincial nomination 
and doubling is 2024 2021 allocation by 2025 so by 2025 they also want to bring in more people remember this is the largest province but they want to bring in more people by 2025 they want to double the number the allocation they have by 2025 so it is it is an opportunity for you to be thinking ontario if you're applying for any province ontario is one place if you're looking at manitoba is another place you should be looking at enhancing oversight of professional qualification ontario is committed to improve the oversight and accountability of how regulated profession assess international qualifications the goal is to ensure fast transparent and fair assessment process this is another thing you have to look at because if you are a nurse or a doctor we know that you have site lab scientists pharmacy we know that registration in any of these provinces in canada takes a while but this year we've seen changes we've seen nova scotia had change we see um British Columbia had changed. Most of these provinces are, are making changes. Ontario now is saying that they want to make these changes. So it's going to be fast, it's going to be transparent, and it's going to be an, a fair assessment process. So it is also an opportunity for you if you want to work in Canada or want to move to any province in, 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 in Canada, you should con start considering Ontario as one of the places um, to look for um, work as an international or apply for registration as an international nurse or doctor or any of this profession teacher and stuff like that right all right navigating ontario's market as an international applicant for those eager to exploit job opportunities in ontario two platforms stand out one is the canada job market sorry the canada job bank then you just filter it to ontario the job bank has so many um, opportunity in the job bank because you can you can set it to the province ontario you can get um, jobs there then the other one is job Maya, a platform dedicated uh, connecting job seeker with employers offering world opportunity and aspiration so they have two two places job bank which i'm going to be dropping the link and also this job Maya, which also you i'm going to be dropping the link so you can go to these places and look for opportunities directly and see how you can apply all right so ontario move this this move is to eliminate and Canada work experience requirement makes a significant leap forward towards making an all-inclusive and job diverse markets. As the province continues to welcome global talent, the possibility for career growth and success are boundless. Take the journey and plug to Ontario vibrant market and embark on a journey where qualifications speak louder than borders. So your qualifications speak louder. And also, I like this closing. You understand? So please, if you are interested, like I said, I'll put in the links to these job opportunities. We can start looking for in, in Ontario so I can take advantage of this proposal. When it, when it comes on board, you can take advantage of it. All right, so that's all for me today. I remain on Knoss. Please continue to share my videos and also give us a thumb up. To meet again, take, stay blessed.